Hey all, it's Bob, and this week we are talking about learning as our theme. So I thought I would share a little bit of what I've been learning lately with you guys, and don't mind me if I use a cheat sheet. I will need to to actually be able to do this well. So, mm. Recently, I've taken an interest in ASL, which is American Sign Language. I decided this semester I would finally go ahead and take a class because I've always wanted to learn a second language and I thought this one would be fun. So I'll show you what I've been learning. Uh, my first class was tonight and I've never been able to do the alphabet the whole way through easily and I've forgotten a lot of it. So I'm going to do it with a cheat sheet but I swear I will try very very hard and if I'm wrong please forgive me. Okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, crap, that's not one of them, P, Q, R S T U V W X Y and Z. So that's what I'm working on right now. By next week, I have to be able to sign, fingerspell my name, which is going to be kind of hard. I can already recognize my name when someone's signing it, but signing it myself is going to be a challenge. My my life since last summer has been all about learning. I was out of school for several years and I decided to go back and start taking some classes. So I started out with a simple office class last summer and then this last fall I took a web page design class and a computer networking class. They were both really fun and for the first time I admitted to myself that I wouldn't mind being in the IT field. So this semester I'm taking a Unix class, I'm taking American Sign Language, Web Page Design 2, and I'm taking the History of Crime and Hacking. So I'm really excited. That's been my learning adventure lately, going back to school. I also learned how to do a video for YouTube without drinking a beer first. Okay, I didn't really learn. I kind of can't drink any beer right now because I'm on antibiotics, which blows and sucks. But yeah, so I can't have any beer. It's probably good for me. Probably. But I'm still not going to like it. I'd have to say in the last few years, the biggest learning experience for me has been failing the first time around at school and taking a break to figure out who I was and what I wanted and the follow-up huge learning experience has been going back to school and actually taking classes that I care about, taking classes in fields I want to learn about. That was my big mistake the first time I went to school. I took all the stupid required courses that you need, but my heart wasn't in it. I was in a general studies program and I just didn't really find any joy in what I was doing. So now I'm having a lot of fun and I found that I'm actually good at stuff. Go figure. If you ever get the chance, I really encourage you to go to your local community college and take a class just for the fun of it. I think anyone can enjoy school as long as they're in a class that interests them and means something to them. So even if you already have a degree and you don't really have a need to go back to school, I think it's really important that everyone does it's a good way to keep your skill up to date and it's a good way to learn something new. It's even a good way to meet new people. I've met some really cool people and I've also run into some people that I knew for years and haven't seen in a long time. Anyways, that's been my learning experience and I will catch y'all on the flip side roundabout hoop dee doodle la diddy day ya ya gitchy gitchy something yada da da mocha choka Later.